Here are the workers, 10,000 or more, who gather the nectar to bring back and store in the honeycomb cells for the bees. In Ash County, we do a lot of education things. We are trying to promote ag in the classroom. We are starting with the uh, Partnership for Children. We, we try to promote this all nationally, statewide, countywide, statewide, and nationally with the, the ag in the classroom. And it is a nationwide program. We do it in the second grade. We did the Bee Man in the second grade because that is part of their curriculum. They use bees to uh, teach the cycle of life. And um, they invite us in. Last year, the Bee Man was the book. I contacted some of the teachers. We did it in the first grade and the second grade last year. But this year, when I found out that it was part of the second grade curriculum, we decided that we would come and do it with the second grade. Shelly has, has graciously brought her mobile hive so that the children have a very good observation of what the bees are like, what the uh, honey and the cells are like and it's uh, very educational for them. They're very interested in it and I feel like they do get some learning experience from this to further their curriculum learning. Um, Judy had, was nice enough to invite me last year. Um, we talked to the first and second graders last year and I was so impressed at what a, a wonderful actual working knowledge these children have of these that are so important. Um, the younger we can start them understanding bees and trying to help bees, the better off we are because the bees are in, t in terrible jeopardy. Honeybees supply us with one third of our food source through direct pollination. At the shop I hear people say, oh, fruits and vegetables, that's not so. They pollinate the alfalfa that feeds livestock and cattle. So it, it's, it's as broad as it is long. They have been on the planet for 150 million years and now we're killing them. Um, through pesticides, through beekeepers taking too much honey, through their forage lands being clear cut, they don't have enough to eat. So it has become quite a national movement um, of people of trying to take care of the honeybees because if, if the honeybees go, we're right behind them. So it's really important that we, that we keep them on the planet. Um, and North Carolina, I might add, is the number one beekeeping state in the country. More beekeepers in North Carolina than any other state. I do give a, I give a talk very regularly out in the community um, that you don't have to be a beekeeper to be a bee steward. And it's very important to, for, for every, every American citizen to understand it is our responsibility to take care of these bees. I enjoy working with kids. It's, uh... I, well, I have been a teacher in the past, and I have worked with ages from two years old all the way through high school. And I have a heart for children. <laughs> I like kids. Uh, the ones that ask crazy questions, the ones that have their hands up shaking and trying to get attention, I, I enjoy working with students, with kids of all ages.